The Apostle Paul is traveling from city to city, mostly ministering to Gentiles, and he finds himself in the city of Troas. And they go into this upper room, and of course you know Dr. Luke is writing the book of Acts, and he's very detailed. He says the room is uh, dark, it's smoky, there's lots of lamps in it is what the scripture says. And there's a certain man who's there listening, a young man, the scripture says, listening to Paul's sermon. And the message goes on and on. It's, it's very long. And this guy, his, his name is Eutychus. In fact, his name, I look it up, it means fortunate or lucky one. Well, Eutychus is sitting up in a window seal. And the scripture tells us that he falls asleep. And he falls from the window sill, from the third story, and they well, Dr. Luke says he's dead. Listen to what it says, I'll, I'll read from verse nine. And in a window said a certain young man named Eutychus who was sinking into a deep sleep. Maybe you've done that in church. He was overcome by sleep. And as Paul continued speaking, he fell down from the third story and was taken up dead. But Paul went down, fell on him, and embracing him, he said, do not trouble yourself for his life is in him. The Apostle Paul goes, puts his hands on him, and somehow God miraculously brings this man Eutychus, fortunate one, fortunate he is, lucky he is, back from the dead. One encouraging point for this Devo, this time in Acts chapter 20 would be this. Hey, if you're a pastor, if you're a teacher, people even fell asleep under the teaching of the Apostle Paul. Number two, if you're a Eutychus and you've fallen asleep in your faith, or you've fallen asleep somehow in your spiritual journey, I pray the Lord sends someone to you, like a Paul, like a friend, like a neighbor, whoever it might be, who brings you back to life spiritually. Don't fall asleep, open your eyes, stay engaged, let the Lord use your life like he did the Apostle Paul. He brought people back to life.